My buddy Brian and I are back in the Inyo wilderness this weekend. The last time we were here, we attempted Mount Langley via Tuttle Creek. This weekend, we are going to attempt to summit the Middle Palisade. Uh, should be an exciting trip. We got here late, late last night. We got a uh, wonderful campsite right next to the toilet. And then it poured rain on us all night. So, pretty sure those are both good omens for the weekend. I think that's how life works. We're moving right along. Things are going pretty smooth. It's all been established trail. And we are at our first creek crossing. So we'll see how this goes for us. We found a deep but fairly calm pool, which in this creek right now is not that easy to find. It's running really strong. So yeah, stripping down to our skivvies and uh, taking a dip. Uh, a little while back, we stopped for our first break and uh, couldn't really break out the camera or film anything because it was just so buggy. We were just immediately overwhelmed with mosquitoes. And the, uh, even the good old jungle juice, 100% DEET, did nothing. They just ignored it completely. So we're back on the trail and uh, Moving along. I hate bugs. So 
we moved up the ridge a little bit and decided to take like an actual break where we could get some rest and, and some real calories. It's still a little bit buggy, but much more manageable. They seem to be leaving us alone out here on this uh, open ridge. There's not very much moisture around. So. <sighs> Hopefully we can catch our breath and fill our bellies and carry on with the day. So we've made it to Brainerd Lake. We're sitting at like 10,250 feet. Bugs are still bugging. I think that's gonna be a consistent theme through the weekend. Uh, from here, it's all use trail. We've, we've reached the end of the established maintained trails. So we're gonna take a break, eat some food, and uh, try to find this use trail that heads toward Finger Lake. I'll let you know how it goes. Well, we found a gorgeous campsite just above the outlet to Finger Lake. Two perfect tent pads, access to water, gorgeous views. Now it's time to rest and relax and uh, get ready to tackle Middle Palisade tomorrow. and I climbed up this spine to do a little bit of reconnaissance and kind of get a closer look at the uh, two possible routes we can go to Summit Middle Palisade. From this angle, they both look pretty scary. <laughs> There's a lot less glacier than we were hoping for. But I guess the only way we'll find out is to uh, climb on up there tomorrow. About five in the morning, 
after getting up, getting breakfast ready. This morning, all we really have to do is cross this creek, navigate these ledges, cross the moraine, cross the glacier, and then we can start climbing the mountain. Sounds easy. Well, we're at about 12,300 feet. We're nearing the base of the chute, which is where we can actually start climbing the mountain. The elevation's hitting me pretty hard. Brian seems like he feels pretty good, but I'm, uh, I'm not terrible, but I'm uh, a little bit of a headache, just not feeling super great. We're gonna push on a little bit and we've given ourselves a turnaround time of two and it's about 9.45 right now. So we've got a lot of time. We can move move with purpose, but, but not push it too fast. So overall, pretty good day. Excuse me? Yeah. So there are two routes to get to the top of Middle Palisade. One is kind of commonly referred to as the ledge route and the other is the red rock route. The ledge route, this trip was out of the question because the glacier has peeled away too far to be able to get to it. And the red rock route was out of my skill set. Uh, Brian's carrying on, he's gonna go ahead and summit and I'm working my way back down off this ridge, find some water and some shade, and I'll wait for him there. But uh, you never know until you try. You know, I, I get out to a lot of these places and I give it my best shot, and I don't always make it to the top, and that's totally fine. I think the adventure is in the effort, and uh, I gave it my best effort. Getting all packed up and ready to head back to the car and uh, talking a lot about yesterday. You know, Brian did summit, really excited for him. Uh, and, and I think in the long run, we both made the right choice. And I know that sounds weird to say since we made different choices, but that kind of mountaineering, that kind of climbing isn't something I have a lot of experience with and it's not something I really enjoy. You know, I, I enjoy big mileage. I like the walk. You know, give me a trail where I can knock out 25, 30 miles 
over the course of 10 or 12 hours and that's my comfort zone. That's where I'm happy. And I think middle Palisades in particular, you know, with that massive chute, I think the chute's 1500 linear feet, is not a place to learn how to be a climber. And that was kind of the position I was in yesterday, was looking at this huge chute and, and having to learn as I go. And that's just not, that's not safe for me, that's not safe for the other climbers around us. Uh, Brian was fortunate enough to meet up with a group of four very experienced climbers and they stuck with him all the way up and all the way back down and he made some new friends. And uh, I think this trip ended perfectly for both of us. We found a gorgeous little campsite just above the outlet for Finger Lake. Uh, two perfect tent pads. It's gonna be a, a <clears throat> three, two, one. Well, we found a gorgeous little campsite just above the outlet for Finger Lake.